So any information concerning Ford Foundation, as the board, we do not have it. So, and the information required from us, we have submitted to the DCI. So we will be waiting for the report from the DCI so that we take the next course of action. Uh, if you got me well, I told you that um, uh, Food Foundation operates under international treaty with the hosting country, and that is why the foreign affairs comes in. The organizations that were listed uh, with the PS Foreign Affairs, I've told you out of those organizations, only three are registered under us. Others are registered with the, the register of uh, societies and companies, right? So the information that we have concerning the three we have released to the DCI. Remember, we deal with the recreatory uh, part of it. Any criminal activity, that is the, not our work. And if there is anything that they will observe or identify within the operations of the three, yeah, we have the regulations and the law on how we deal with them. But so far, that is what we wanted to clarify, that not all of them are under us. So any information concerning Ford Foundation, as the board, we do not have it. And any organization, the PPO or charitable organization that is operating in this country that is not registered under the, uh, uh, the regular, uh, regulator, as we do not have the information. Those that we have information, we have released the information. So that is it. Then uh, another thing you were asking about the plan. So when you talk of the plan, because we, in that form, they, they fill the plan what they're going to do with the money and where they're going to get the money. Once we have it, and that is the kind of information we can give, this is what they provided, right? We haven't given you the notes that we've given to DCI because uh, it's under investigation. We don't have to disclose that. So this is the information that was given, and this is the information that we have. You can follow up if the money did the right job that they had requested for. That is it. Nothing major. Yes. So how many more questions? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <coughs> yes. Uh, please raise your voice. The question I have is this better. Suppose the DCI uh give a report that uh the organization registered has got criminal charges. What measures will you put in place to ensure there's no such incident? I've just told you we are under the transition and the new law gives us uh, a wider mandate on how we are going to deal with some of the loopholes that were existing in the old act. So um, that one will give us at least room. By the time we release the guidelines to the public, which will come to you, of course you have a lot of influence to the public, you will also have your input. The sector players will have their input. So where there were loopholes, we will definitely seal them up. That's it. So, thank you very much. Uh, what I want to maybe appeal to you, um, um, those who are still on, uh, you know, this country belongs to all of us. This is like our baby. And the kind of headlines we make matters a lot. Uh, you need also to make comparison, especially the leading uh, media house. Make comparison of what is happening in, like, Sudan. Make comparison of what is happening in, uh, um, um, in a country like DRC Congo. Make comparison with Somali. For those who have had opportunity even to visit those areas, please, you will be sure that uh, this is not something that we should admire. Let's talk to each other. Let's have a dialogue and build the Kenya so that we can transfer this country to the next generation in peace and not in pieces. So, and the information required from us, we have submitted to the DCI. So we will be waiting for the report from the DCI so that we take the next course of action. So maybe the, the next question is what measures do you have to ensure that these unregistered uh, um, organizations don't get or obtain any funding that might sabotage any form of the You know, one of the challenges we've been having, and I told you from uh, maybe uh, uh, press uh, release if you are around, 
is that most of the dischargeable organizations or public benefit organizations, not all of them are registered under the, reg, uh, uh, the, reg, uh, the regulator. Some of them are registered under the registrar of uh, societies and companies. So at times it's very difficult to monitor what they're doing. But going forward, as you say, uh, the new law, and we must appreciate the president out of goodwill, because it has been pending for almost a decade, almost 10 years and plus. He actually um, cassetted, and uh, now the law is in force. Uh, it was cassetted, now we have operationalized the law. We have already developed guidelines, guidelines that are going to guide on how we are going to uh, uh, seal some of the loopholes that were in the old law. So those guidelines will be subjected to the public uh, uh, participation. We'll go around the country, we are waiting for the funds, and we are looking for um, partners in the government to ensure that every input that is required in these guidelines, we do it so that next time we do not have kind of these challenges that we are having today, so that we monitor every organization, all of them registered under one umbrella. We shall be able to see what they applied for, where they got the money, and what they are doing with the money. So what is your response to Ruto's comment on what they are uh, what do you mean? Which comment? And what exactly? As the authority? One, Ford Foundation is not registered under us. So I have no comment over it. Um, I have only comment to the organization that are registered under us. But um, you and I, and my friend, you are in the media, you are in the fourth estate, you have a lot of influence to most of these young people, our sons and daughters who are on the street today trying to make a point. And I'm sure the president have heard. Most importantly, make comparison of the uh, countries that say they are leaderless and uh, uh, today where they are. So it's very important. The dialogue is very important. The president has called that clarion call. It's not about the president. It's about this country. So if we behave in the same way, the country will be uh, no more today. So we don't want to pass this country into ashes to the next generation. I still repeat that we need to pass this country to the next generation in peace and not in pieces. Right. So what will be the legal consequences for NGOs and uh, organizations that uh, go against the, the mandate? Uh, very clear. Within one year, those uh, people that have not complied with the regulations and the Transition Act that um, um, is already in force, they are going to be deregistered. And quite a number of them, of course, we can see they are likely to not to be on our list in the next one year. That one I can assure you you that most of the uh, organizations mentioned outside there in social media, main media houses, they are not registered under us. Most of them are registered under the Register of Society and Companies, but the required information that the DCI requested from us, we've given out, and we believe we will get the right information. Remember, we deal with the uh, uh, regulations, uh, any criminal aspect of it, uh, there are other agencies that deals with it. So once they submit back to us, we shall be in position to act within the law. But most importantly, we call upon all the uh, sector players that we are here to ensure that Kenya is safe for all of us, all of us, and Kenya is safe for the next generation. We are in this country and we have no other country. So we appeal that anything that you register or anywhere you get your funds and you have listed the number of activities that you are going to do, when we come in the field, we expect you or we expect the organization to show us exactly what they promised to do to their community. So basically that is what we were doing here today and also clarifying some of the issues about compliance and um, of course concerning also the new act, um, um, the uh, legal framework that is bringing into the sector. It has opened up and we are sure that um, the old act, the loopholes that we had then with the framework that and the guidelines we are developing, we shall be able to come up with the guidelines that will serve this country for posterity. Thank you.